and welcome to another HTML5 tutorial. My name is Tom with wizardtutorial.com and today we're going to talk about the HTML5 block quote element. The block quote element is used to quote uh, an outside source or another source. So if you're quoting another gentleman or another lady from a different website, um, you want to use the block quote element. That's how it works in HTML5. Now, if you're coming from HTML4 or you know HTML4, block quote is not the same as it was. In HTML4, the block quote was used for very long quotes. All right. Um, now, block quote is used specifically to quote another source. So, if we're quoting a, another blog or a news website or something like that, then we're going to use the block quote element. All right. Um, if we're not, if we're quoting, say, your business partner, something he said, um, then you're going to use the Q element. It's another element that, for quoting. And uh, that's the difference between the two of them. Um, the Q provides you with a more open um, quote, you know, coming from your, yourself or your company or something like that. And if you're uh, quoting an outside source, then we use block quote. Um, and we'll take a look at this all in one second. The block quote also has an attribute um, called cite, C-I-T-E. So we're citing a uh, source, so we provide the URL, URL to that source. So let's take, the, take a look at the syntax first of the block quote. The block quote is open caret block, Q-U-O-T-E, quote, and closing caret. So this is our opening tag of the block quote. And then our closing tag is um, opening caret backslash block quote closing caret. Simple, right? Every syntax basically in HTML is simple. Now I mentioned the Q. Um, we will do a tutorial on this. Q is just like that, all right? So this is if you're referencing an outside source. If and this is for if you're quoting yourself or your inside source your business or something like that. All right. So this no longer means a very long quote. This means we're um, referencing an outside source. All right. So with that being said, I went and found a uh, quote. Um, I looked at the top uh, most famous quotes and I saw uh, Wayne Gretzky as number six. I'm a huge hockey fan. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this quote. I'll put it right in between the tags here. And it's a very true quote. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky. Um, so that's our quote, all right? Now, our quote's going to look like this. Uh, oh, yeah. I want to show you. Let's do an H1 tag here to just show um, there is a difference in styling. Default styling, default CSS by browsers. We'll just say uh, Gretzky's um, quote. That works. So, with that being said, I'll bring up my browser over to you guys. And this is what it looks like. We got our H1 tag here. We can see some indentation here from some default CSS. Now, if you don't want that, you can always change it by calling that CSS and putting your uh, changes in there, but you know, this is normal. And then we have our quote here. Now, let's say we wanted to um, give you know credit to Wayne Gretzky himself. Now, I'm not sure if Wayne Gretzky has a website. I'm sure he does. But I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to look it up. So we're gonna um, give credit to uh, Forbes.com where I found the famous quote. So we do that by doing site equals and quotation marks. So this attribute says, hey, we're citing um, uh, a quote from this website and we are we are quoting a um, quote from this website and we're using this to say, hey, we're giving them credit. All right. This, you know, this could go a long way with search engine stuff like uh, Google was looking at your website and see you have all these uh, quotes in here and you're saying hey I made these quotes well if Google sees you're actually giving credit to someone else they're gonna 
you know, rank your site a little bit higher just because you're doing it legitimately. So I'm just going to grab the URL to this um, quote here and put it in here. And we're going to save it. Now, with this in here, we got the block quote. We're referencing, we're giving credit to the person that made the quote which it is not the person who made the quote and um, we got the quote here and we saw the different styling now when you cite it nothing changes but in the back end of your code it's saying hey this is who I'm giving credit to so just quick review block quotes we use them anytime we are citing an outside source or quoting an outside source we use cite to notify that we're giving credit to the outside source and in between the block quote tags, we put our quote. Um, if you are quoting yourself or someone in your company or someone on your website, then you use the Q tags, which look like that. All right, and we'll do a tutorial on them as well. If you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at wizardtutorial.com, and we'll see you in the next one.